Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. And today we are checking out the DSer in the DSer Pro by Accusonus. So what this is is a plugin that specializes in taming the S sounds in your voice. So when you sing, a lot of times S sounds tend to pop out. Some of it's due to the mic. Parts of it are also due to the fact that S sounds tend to just be a little bit longer and the frequency content of an S sound is in such a region that we tend to hear a little bit brighter. And as a result, these can be undesirable in an audio recording. So we usually set up a compressor to go after these, but then you have to do all these settings and try and narrow down the frequency range and it can be quite a bit difficult to do sometimes. Where here, this is a very straightforward one knob solution and it uses an intelligent algorithm uh, that they've developed in order to sort of accomplish this. And let me just go ahead and give you a demo and stop talking. So here's the audio recording and it's got S sounds all over the place. We're gonna use it uh, to sort of experiment and see what we can do here. So let me go ahead and just play this for you. So you want to use, let me turn this off. So you want to use a de in order to reduce the S sounds in someone's recording. So we see here, we've got an S sound, S sound, S sound. That's, you know, that one is like, oh, I could do with that being lower at the beginning. So you want, so I you might want to bring that down a bit. So you want to use, and right here at the end of use, use that one pops out kind of a bit. So I want to sort of target these S sounds. They're all in a similar frequency range. And we could see here when I let it play on the first time, if it's in green, it's targeting those regions and affecting them. So it says, hey, this is a sibilance. That's the name for these S sounds I keep saying. So these are the sibilances and we need to change these things. So I have it on narrow mode, but you could try out normal or broad. It just sort of helps it rein in on the specific frequencies that it's after. And let's turn this guy on and just sort of hear it do its job. We'll see it turn on right here. That means it's working. And also the green, as you just saw, shows that it is doing its job. So you want to use a de in order to reduce the S sounds in someone's recording. Let's pick a specific S sound and just sort of observe it. So here is off. S sounds, S sounds. Here's on. S sounds, S sounds. So you see this has been dampened quite a bit, but it's not been removed because if it was removed, that would sound weird. Let me bring it to 100%. This will pretty much remove it. S sounds. S sounds. You can see, it sounds like I have a lisp. And you notice that the TH, uh, there's like a TH kind of a sound there, but the S part of the sound is just pretty much gone. S sounds. So that's the power of the de I And we'll bring this back to something reasonable because we wanted it to sound, you know, natural. S sounds in some S sounds. Right around there. Let's uh, turn it off. S sound. On. S sounds. And there you go. Now at the beginning, we also have one. So you want to. So you want to, and if I turn it off, so you want see that's to, quite a bit brighter. And that's something that I just don't want right there. Now, what we can do as well, that's kind of nice is they've added this difference button. And if we click it, we can hear specifically what it's taking out. So let's go ahead and just hear what it's removing. And you see, that's pretty dang wild how accurate this is and it's going right after the sibilances. So a very straightforward solution to a pretty common problem and it is significantly faster. Now there's one other button on here I haven't talked about. That's the intense button. I view this as just sort of a different version of the setting. So you can, you can turn this on and see if it, you like what it does. If you don't like what it does, then don't turn it on. It's, it's pretty easy. It's just basically another option in case you want to see if you can get it even cleaner. I do find that on some cases, the intense button can actually make a pretty big difference. On this one, it's not so big uh, because this is, a, this is a pretty mild case if I play it. So you want to use a de without it. So you want to use a de so you see this is a little overboard on this case. So you want to use a de so you want to use a de -er. But that is what the Intense knob offers you. It's an aptly named Intense. So let's go ahead and bypass this one, go over to the Pro version and turn it on. 
So the pro versions in a very similar vein, but instead of giving you sort of um, these broad options on frequency selection, they give you a little bit more specificity. So I can come over here, I can audition my audio through the filter that it's going to use to determine the de-essing. And our goal here is to put it at a spot where we only really get the sibilances. We don't want it to be deterrent. We don't want it to be blown off by things below the sibilances. So let's go ahead, let's just play this and nail those re those ranges. Right around there. If we bring it down lower, we begin to hear a lot more of my voice. So I'm just gonna bring it up. Because we're going after wherever we hear the s. Wherever this is, that's where we want. And we want to move up. As soon as you start hearing that sound being reduced, that means you've gone too far and you should edge back just a touch. And now that we've set up our focus, set up our processing, again, I already have it at 75%. It's probably fine. Finally, we have a shaping option over here. This is basically how it turns on and off the sibilances that it's removing. So it's got to remove them. Well, does it remove them fast or slow? How does it do it? That's what shaping does. And I find that sharp it tends to add actually a little bit of intelligibility back, but sometimes you might like soft. It might just end up being more transparent. And uh, let's just, let me just show you this. So first let's do it at hundred percent sharp. So you want to use a de in order to reduce the S sounds in someone's recording. One more time. So you want to use a de in order to reduce the S sounds in someone's recording. Now let's go for sh uh, sharp. Let's go for soft and just really listen. So you want to use a de in order to reduce the S sounds in someone's recording. One more time. So you want to use a de in order to reduce the S sounds in someone's recording. And so you can sort of hear what's going on there. Uh, in this case, both of them sound fine to me. Sometimes this could be really important. It just depends on sort of the condition of your audio. I think I favor sharp a bit more, but, you know, leave a comment down below. Which one did you like a little bit more? Now, they do have some presets in here. And I didn't even check. I've never even like looked for presets in the other one. Yeah, they don't have presets on the other one. But over here, they have presets. And I just thought it was interesting to note they've got some for guitars and cymbals. Just showing you, you don't have to use this on voices. You could use this on other things that also suffer from high-end uh, sharpness. And so if you have some cymbals or overheads that were recorded and they're just really, really bright, Instead of grabbing an EQ or a compressor, like a standard compressor, you could try out this de and sort of see maybe it'll do a little bit better of a job because of the engine it uses. It's, it's specifically made to remove that brightness. And the processing, I imagine, would be much lower, but that would be what it is. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I've actually never looked at the preset. Yeah, the processing is much lower, and it's also on soft, which makes a whole lot of sense. So... Anyways, that is the de -esser. If you have any questions about this stuff, let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.